What is your epic dream? That's my epic dream. For kids to really ditch the facade character and and just discover your true self, honestly, because that's the that's how you're gonna really get the best out of life. And welcome to another edition of King Crush Thursday, the series where we highlight and uplift Black men because, frankly, not too many people are doing it. My name is Val Gay, and I'm super excited about this young brother today. Let's see. Okay, I can't help myself. He is West Philadelphia, born and raised. Hey, he also is a young man that has a, a, a excuse me, an associate's degree in business administration from the Community College of Philadelphia. He's working in real estate, and probably equally important, he, along with two of his partners, are working together to create programs for inspiring and empowering youth. His name is Mr. Karan Dean. Hey, Karan. Thank you so much. That was like, that was like amazing. I really feel like Will Smith right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, yeah, awesome. how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Glad to be here. I'm so glad that you are here. And Karan, we are, um, as you know, we are working hard to bust open the very narrow and myopic narratives about Black men. I can only imagine you being a young Black man, all the things that you've heard over your life or what you perhaps even thought about who you are or what other people are trying to tell you. But yet, you look around you and you see something different. Um, and so our goal really is, is to bust open this narrow myopic narrative to allow for other stories in there so that perhaps one day a young king who may or may not have positive black male role models can come to this repository, see the same six questions answered by well over 150 positive and successful black men yeah. and find guidance there. And then for the rest of us who are neither male or even black, to be able to come to this repository, see and hear your questions, and hopefully have our minds open too. So ultimately, we create space for you to just be a human being and to live up to the potential that God has endowed you with. And so I am so grateful that you are here today. And I'm going to get started with the first question, which is, what does manhood mean to you? Wow. Um, I would say to me, manhood means taking care of your responsibilities so for starters. I would say it's problem solving at a, at a very high rate. Um, you've got to learn how to deal with different situations and navigate through them and overcome ultimately. Um, I would also say it's showing care to like your family and your friends. Like that's, that's a must. I, I see my father, he always does things for his grandmother, whether that's taking her to the, to the grocery store, to the bank, whatever. It's on call, like a maintenance job. It's just, Whatever, whenever, whatever. Um, and really, it's just it's just doing for others, I believe. You just really need to do for others. That's a, that's really manhood to me. I love it. I love it. That is great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, Karan, who and or what is important to you? Um, to me, I would say my family, for starters. I would say my friends, my close friends. I would say my brand that I'm trying to build with with my friend and my brother. Um, I would say leaving a legacy for the next generation within my family. I would say really guiding and 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 leading the youth into like their a right path and really discovering them true selves. So that's what I would say. Mm, that's great. That's great. Awesome. Awesomeness. So come on, how do you want us to see you? Um just like you introduced me, a regular kid born and raised from West Philadelphia, really. Um, I'm, I'm really no different than, than anybody else, I feel. Um, 
I'm really just not afraid to be open minded to to really discover my true self, um, to really apply myself to what I what I want, what I really truly desire, whatever I put my mind to. Honestly, um, yeah, I'm just a young black male <laughs> trying to trying to make it out mm -hmm. and trying to. You know, just trying to be my best self. Really, really see what's what's on this path. What's meant for me. That's awesome. That is yeah. awesome. Excellent. Excellent. So question four, Karan, is what is your epic dream? Wow. Um I would I would say my epic dream is really building this brand. Um so ultimately I would say that me, myself, me, my my brother, and my friend Chad, who you uh, actually recently interviewed as well, um, we're really on this path to, for one, discover our true selves and really apply ourselves to what we want to do and what we want out of life. Um, that's putting ourselves in better positions to put our family and friends in better positions. Um, I would say the epic dream is really combining all of our efforts and our resources and creating this brand to create, like you said, different programs and different initiatives to really just encourage the youth to do what we do ultimately. That's, and that's just discover yourself and apply yourself. That's really it. That's my epic dream for kids to really ditch the facade character and, and just discover your true self, honestly, because that's the, that's how you're going to really get the best out of life. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you've been answering question five implicitly all along, but I'm going to ask you explicitly, Mr. Karan Dean, yeah. who are you? I am many things, as we all are, I, I really feel. Um, on a certain level, I would say I'm a, I'm a soul living this human experience, and I'm really just trying to search for enlightenment throughout. Um, on another level, I'm just a young black male trying to provide for myself and my family and my, my later generation, family on to come. Um, and I'm just a regular kid from West Philly, just trying to figure myself out, figure the world out, figure my, my environment out. Got it. Trying to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. That's awesome. So here we are already at question six, which is, is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't or you wanted me to ask you that I didn't? In other words, what did I miss? I could say we could talk about inspiration. I could say that. Um, it's hard as a young black male to find inspiration these days. I really feel that um, the people that we choose to look up to, and I'll say we, as in my generation, the young black males, the people that we choose to look up to often, they don't even see themselves in that position. So like a rapper or something, we may be looking up to a rapper. They don't see themselves as a leader. So why would we look up to someone who doesn't see themselves as a leader? Um, there's not a lot of fatherhood within our homes. So we don't often look up to our dads. That's some of us. Um, so for me, my inspiration growing up was really my uncle. Uh, my uncle, he, his name, his author name is E.K. Powers. Um, my uncle was really like the cool guy to me. I mean, he, he was the one who introduced me to book writing, introduced me to like the computer, just being on a computer regardless, just working, just finding stuff to do. Um, yeah, I would say he really did inspire me. That's just to really discover my true self because I seen that he was just trying things for him to see what work. And he wasn't just working the nine to five and just satisfied with just that content um, nature, I would say. So, yeah, he really inspired me to open my mind and discover my true self. I would say that. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Thank you. Thank you for for calling out your uncle and earlier calling out your dad and, and how fortunate you are to have a great grandmother. That's really cool. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, you, you hit on so many things, right? You're so close to my target audience, which are these young kids who really don't, many of them don't have positive black male role models. All they see is what we all see in the media. And that's one of the last things we want to see. I often say, 
that what we see in the media is not necessarily incorrect. It's just incomplete. Sometimes it is incorrect, but most of the time it's just incomplete. You can't tell just one part of the story. You know, it's like 95, 100 people outside, 95 of them doing the right thing and they find the five knuckleheads, right? And then and highlight them and glorify them. And the rest of us are like, wait, but what about all these people over here? Yeah. One of the reasons why I started this to really shine a light on young brothers like you, one day you won't be young, right? One day you will be the elder in your community and people will be looking up to you. There are already young people looking up to you. There are older people who are looking up to you, quiet as is kept. And so I just really encourage you, my young brother. And I honor you, my king. I pray that your epic dream comes true. It's a beautiful dream. I pray that all of your your endeavors, um, that you will just keep going and that you will find um, continue to find inspiration and your motivation to keep moving forward. And I'm just so grateful that you are here today. I deeply appreciate it. And I'm, I think I might even be more than grateful for you to be here today. Um, it's, it's an honor. Um, I'm glad that I met you and I'm glad that we did this today. Yes, me too. Me too. Thank you. So stay right there because I want to thank the audience for joining us today. I really hope that you enjoyed this conversation as much as I did. And if there's a positive and successful Black man in your life, regardless of his age, that you want to hear from in this forum, please click the link below or my bio, fill out the nomination form, and we'll take it from there. That is literally how we got Quran today, is our community coming together and highlighting each other and saying, yeah, we should hear more from this brother. Um, I often say that success does not mean what someone does for a living. As long as it is legal and is not hurting someone, then I really don't care what the brother does. What I really care about is the content of his character. Is he making an impact on the community surrounding him, starting with the nuclear family and spreading out writ large to the rest of us, just like Quran and his friends are doing with the children that are coming behind him. And so those are the brothers that we want to add to this repository so that we can have a better and more complete story. And so please stay tuned next week for yet another amazing King. And please remember to spread love and have a great day. Thank you so much. And Karan, thank you so much. That was really awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.